Hey guys, I'm Sebastian at Performance Place, locally world famous chiropractors. I know, self-proclaimed. Uh, we're gonna cover low back pain today and one really easy way you can get rid of it. Again, this is not gonna be for good because this is just uh, a little bit of a magic show that helps reduce pain. It doesn't restore function. Now, what we know about low back pain is a lot of times when the back pain is right in the middle, right around here and a little bit into the glute area, sometimes around the SI joint-ish, is a lot of times people suffer from not having hip hip mobility, appropriate hip mobility to let their back function as a back because their back ends up functioning as a hip. And so this exercise I'm gonna pick today is called a pigeon stretch. You've probably seen it before. Um, in another video, I picked uh, hip extension. There's so many different ways to address hip mobility and this is gonna work for probably half the people to try it and the other video is gonna work for the other people. And so there is nothing cookie cutter, but a lot of times adding hip mobility really helps out with lower back pain, okay? The, the pigeon stretch is pretty simple, and we're gonna go a little bit like this. I know this might not be your standard pigeon stretch. I'm not trying to do yoga. I'm just trying to show you how to stretch the hip out a little bit, okay? And so the first thing I like to address people's, uh, or show people is number one is I want them to lean from the hip first versus the low back, okay? I'm okay if you use the low back a little bit in this because of the type of back pain we're trying to address, but if we're trying to get hip mobility, you want to lean in from the crease of the hip first before you even get a little bit of a slop in your back. So maybe what we should do here is keeps the hands in play. And as you use the hands to kind of guide you, it'll keep your chest a little bit more upright and a little bit more honest in the hip. Now you shouldn't have any pinching in the hip here. If you do, you might want to consider starting with spinal stiffness or spinal stability before getting hip mobility because it's a little bit of a precursor, all right? And so we're gonna try about 20 of these and then we're gonna retest how the back feels. I guess I should mention that before, you should have tested your back and how it feels with certain movements prior and then do these exercises and see how it feels, okay? While you're doing this, you can change directions or arcs a little bit based upon what your hip can tolerate. As I mentioned earlier, um, people who have a creasing type of pain right here don't like this direction while they might like this direction. So just explore the arc here. And as you start to explore those areas, try to make it so your leg is doing a little bit of the work to hold you up, not just your hands, all right? Being really light on the fingers. Let's do about two more. Now, if this works for you, by the way, you should stay to the very end because there's a link that will pop up with one of the gifts that we have for you. Uh, we believe that people who have success with these exercises want to know what to do next, and uh, they don't want to just be like a quick fix type of thing. It doesn't stick, right? Quick fixes don't stick. So um, take advantage of that free gift that we have for you. So that was about 20 of them. Test out your back, stand, bend forward, twist, twist, see how it feels. Great, if that worked for you guys, uh, take advantage of the free gift and subscribe to the channel. We release videos uh, three times a week on various topics such as low backs, hips, knees, shoulders, you name it. And a lot of these videos are targeted at um, giving you a lot of relief or at least trying things you might not have tried before. Obviously check with your doctor first. Um, but if you experience success, just reach out to us. We do things virtually or in person. We're in Coast Mesa, California. We'd love to help you out. Talk to you soon.